Good morning, Lions. Today is Friday, September 20th. You're watching Liberty Live. I'm A. Ross. And I'm Lainey Zos. And let's see what's trending in the news today. Oh, wow. People are getting very excited for the Storm Area 51 day, despite repeated warnings. Oh, well, I'm going. Are you going? Yeah, I'll go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and now for today's science fact of the day. The most dangerous animal in the world is the common housefly. Because of their habits of visiting animal waste, they transmit more diseases than any other animal. The first meeting for the JLHS Lions Roar News Source is, Thursday, is next Thursday, September 26th. If you want to help out with the official school Twitter and Instagram, visit Mr. Grubb in room C120. Want to make waves? Join the Liberty Swim Team. There will be an interest meeting next Thursday, September 26th for students interested in joining the Boys or Girls Swim Team in C104 after school. If you have any questions, see Mr. DeSanza in C104. Attention all current and interested National Art Honor Society members. We will be having our first meeting on Thursday, September 26th after school in the IMC. Please note the change in location. Any 10th to 12th grade artists interested in joining should attend. Applications and requirements for membership will be distributed and discussed. See Mrs. Bender with any questions or concerns. Anyone interested in having a positive impact on Jackson Liberty, please stop by Mrs. Meyer's office and guidance to pick up a Liberty Lighthouse application. Liberty Lighthouse focuses on spreading good vibes during the school year through an array of fun activities. Be the reason someone smiles today. Attention, anyone interested in joining Yearbook Club, there will be a meeting on Tuesday, September 24th in room D102 until 2.15. See Ms. Forsyth with any questions. There will be a meeting for all members of Mu Alpha Theta today immediately after school in room B225. Plans for our fall fundraiser will be finalized at this meeting. Please see Mrs. Coyle for additional information. And the SAT word of the day is arrogance. It means offensively exaggerated belief in one's, in one's own superiority or importance. And now let's check in on today's weather. Today will be mostly sunny with a high of 78 and a low of 54. This weekend is going to be amazing with highs and low 80s and lows in the 60s. Wow, I cannot wait for that great weather for this weekend. <laughs> Alrighty, and now it's time for this day in history. On September 20th, 1973, a highly publicized Battle of the Sexes tennis match, top women's player Billie Jean King, age 29, beats Bobby Riggs, age 55, a former number one ranked men's player. Riggs, 1918-1995, a self-proclaimed male cobbins, had boasted that women were inferior, that they couldn't handle the pressure of the game, and that even at his age, he could beat any female player. The match was a huge media event, witnessed in person by over 30,000 spectators at the Houston Astrodome, and by another 50 million TV viewers worldwide. He made a Cleopatra-style entrance on a gold litter carried by men dressed as ancient slaves, while Riggs arrived in a rickshaw pulled by female models. Legendary sportscaster Howard, Howard Castle called the match in which King beat Riggs 6-4, 6-3, and 6-3 again. King's achieve achievement not only helped legitimize women's professional tennis and female athletes, but it was seen as a victory for women's rights in general. And that's, that's all we have for today. Have a great day, Liberty. <laughs>